Hi, can I ask you a question? Do you know anything about memory? Do you know how it works? Do you know how much it's used in your daily life? I'm guessing you said none of these questions. The thing about memory is that people just see it as something that they have, but they don't only look into the specifics of it. Well, memory, every time you see something or you hear something, it goes into your sensory memory. And sensory memory lasts for about one second. And if you pay attention to whatever you're seeing or whatever you're hearing, it goes into your short-term memory. And short-term memory is also called working memory. And with that, it only has about seven terms, plus or minus two. And this means you can remember about seven things, and with the help of mnemonics and shortcuts, it can be increased to about two. It can be increased to about two plus. So about nine, maybe even ten. The perfect number is two. And if you practice the cycle of sensory memory to short-term memory, it will eventually go into your long-term memory. And long-term memory is infinite. It lasts a lifetime, and the amount of things it will never end. You can just keep on adding to your long-term memory. And what shows is neurons. Neurons in your brain when it becomes long-term memory, it connects a lot faster, so the signal goes through a lot quicker. So let's say you try to remember someone's name. So every time you meet that person, you say their name, and the signal inside your brain, where the neuron is, travels a lot faster. So every time you see them, you remember the name a lot quicker. And memory is something that's used in our daily lives. Without memory, we wouldn't be able to get out of bed. Even though we would wake up, we would need the memory to be able to remember how to get out of bed with moving our body, like walking. If you think about it, babies don't really know how to walk. They just crawl, or even crawling, they have to learn how to do that. They use observational learning to watch parents and others around them walk. And with that, they can learn how to stand and move their legs. But if they don't remember how to do these things when they're older, they won't be able to walk. But because we, they have memory, they're able to, when they're older, walk without even thinking about it. And that's how memory works in our daily lives. Just simple little things. And with memory, if you apply meaning to it, you can remember things a lot quicker. So it'll be in your long-term memory. So let's say you have a grandfather that passed away. You usually remember the happy moments with him. The things that are very meaningful to you. Not just like you saying hi to him one day or just walking around him, but something that's very meaningful to you, like saying goodbye to him. That would stay in your long-term memory. So if you apply meaning to things, it will become, you know, it will become a lot quicker to remember it. So I am memorizing the Quran. So if I apply meaning to the words that I'm reading that are in Arabic. I don't only really understand Arabic because I'm a new English speaker. And if I find meaning and understand the words that I'm reading, I'll memorize it a lot quicker. Meaning and memory, that's how things go a lot quicker. And if you, me with memory, something we have to be really grateful for. We should appreciate the memory that we have. Be thankful. Memory is a beautiful thing.